thank you for joining me on your journey for Rails development. Before we get started, I want to go into why we'd want to learn Ruby on Rails, and first what it is, and some of the other sites and applications that utilize it and get the most out of it. Uh, first, what it is, uh, Ruby on Rails is not a programming language, like if you're new to it, uh, you may think you may think the same way that PHP is a language, but it also is kind of a framework because you're able to use it in conjunction with HTML and build web applications that way. Uh, Rails is different. Rails is an actual web application framework. It sits on top of the programming language Ruby, and so it leverages a lot of the core competencies of Ruby and really lets you uh, harness that power and then use it to build web applications uh, in a very efficient manner. Uh, even right on their website on rubyonrails.org, you'll see that their description of it is that it's optimized for programmer happiness. And uh, I can tell you as being a programmer for over a decade that uh, Ruby on Rails definitely is one of my favorite uh, frameworks that I've ever used uh, for a number of different reasons that we can explore during the course. Some of the other uh, websites and web applications that leverage Rails are very popular sites like GitHub, which uses it to uh, be a centralized repository for your, uh, for your Git repos. Basecamp. Basecamp was the original Ruby on Rails project, and so the uh, the founder of Rails, uh, who we'll talk about here in a second, uh, created Basecamp with Rails, and uh, after that made the whole framework open source so other people could use it. Some other popular sites are movie and video streaming service Hulu, Twitter, which was one of the first very popular applications to use it, Shopify, which is an e-commerce platform, Bleacher Report, which is a, a sports blog news type site, SoundCloud, Airbnb, and Indigo Life, just to name a few. So this is a, a good example of showing that Rails isn't really geared towards any one specific type of web application. It's very flexible and uh, gives you the ability to build pretty much any type of web application that you want to create, as uh, these popular sites show you. Uh, the founder of Rails is someone named David Heimner Hansen. Uh, a lot of people will just call him DHH for short, as his name is on Twitter. And uh, he created Rails uh, with the concept that he wanted to build something that was very easy and straightforward for people to use while also being very powerful. And as you can see from a lot of the different web applications that have been created using it, uh, it definitely has that. Uh, some other things things that are important about using Rails is how many other developers out there are using it. Uh, Rails is uh, supported through the open source community and has over 3,700 different contributors who have helped build it over the, over the course of the last decade. Uh, at the filming of this video, we're currently in version 4.2 of Rails, and uh, it, it's come a long way, and it's a, it's a great framework to build up web applications. So whether you are new to Rails development or you're wanting to get a real comprehensive understanding on how to do it with the best practices, I hope you really enjoy this course. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever, and good luck with the coding.